Be my love, me, me, me. This is day three of Vlogmas 2017. Stay tuned. All right, team, I love me, me, me. Welcome back. So this is day three of Vlogmas 2017. Now, somebody wrote into me and said, you talked about nagging, um, several things about nagging. However, how can nagging kill the relationship? So we are going to deal with that question today. How can nagging kill the relationship? All right, let's go ahead and jump in as usual. All right, before I begin, I want to go ahead and read this statistic to you guys. According to a Danish study, it tracked nearly 10,000 people in the mid 30s to the 50s for 11 years straight. And what they found out is that both men and women who are constantly living in the state of conflict with their spouse made them twice as likely to die early with men being affected slightly more. So I just wanted to make sure I put that out there. If you are in a state of conflict constantly with your spouse, you have a potential of dying that much faster. So literally nagging can kill you and of course kill your relationship. So now I'm going to give you four tips on how nagging can kill your relationship. The first tip is that nagging just takes all of the fun out of your relationship. It really starts to deplete you. It starts to drain you. Um, when, whenever your spouse comes around and they actually see you, they're dreading it. I always go back to the movies and the movies have some type of facts that they put in there. And I remember on, um, uh, what's the movie with uh, Chris Rock? I think I love my wife where he was just sitting in the driveway in his car. He had made it home from a long day at work and he was just sitting there and contemplating about going in there because he knew that she was going to give him the business once he did make it inside. So do not constantly nag your partner. Trust me, they really do get it. They hear you. Um, we, are all, we are all children when it comes to people telling us what to do. We don't want to do it when you want us to do it. We want to do it in our own time. So if you are constantly nagging your spouse about doing something, you, my friend, are going to be the one who is on the losing end of the stick. Because nobody wants to be nagged all the time. We don't want to feel like we have to answer to anybody. Even though we do, right? It's a psychological thing. We don't want to feel like we have to. We want it to be our choice. Whether it is or not, it doesn't matter. We want to feel like it's our choice. So it takes all of the fun out of the relationship when you are constantly nagging and complaining to your spouse about this and just nitpicking with everything. Don't do this. Don't do that. Why you didn't call? How come you're not here? When you said you was going to be there, it, it's, it's too much. Like even just saying all of that is too much. Number two, it actually kills the communication between you two. It severely kills the communication because everybody's shutting down. Nobody's really listening to what you have to say. And if I am starting to listen to you, I'm really like, you talking, but this is what I'm thinking in my head, but I'm going to say it out loud. When is this going to be over? I mean, when's she going to shut up? Oh, oh, it's my turn to speak. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I hear you. Next time I'm thinking, man, just come on. When is this going to end? Like, shut up. I don't even care. Like, it kills the communication when you're constantly nagging at your partner. Kills the communication. Just dead. It's flatlined. Then you wondering why y'all two are seriously not connecting with each other. You wonder why y'all not talking as much. You're wondering why you're not as playful as much. Cut out all that nagging. You're going to be on the losing end of the stick. Number three, nagging actually creates more problems because, as I already mentioned, the communication is going down, right? The communication is going down. It's not increasing. And so with me being the inner child that I actually am, I'm starting to do whatever I want to do because I want to do it. I don't care what you have to say. Yeah, it's easier for me to just ignore you or even lightweight create tension between us because I'm just sick, sick and tired of hearing your mouth about whatever it is. I get it. I need to do that. I get it. I need to stop doing that. I get it. But I don't want to. I don't want to because you keep nagging my ass about it. So I'm not. I'm not going to give you what you want. Does that sound familiar? Let me know down below. Let me know in the comments. Does that sound familiar? That right there. I'm not going to do it because you want me to do it. Just take heed to what I'm saying. Hear, hear me. Hear me. 
the fourth and final reason I already gave you the statistic, but it can literally kill you early. It can send you to your grave early by being in a constant state of conflict. And nagging is conflict. Just think about what I'm saying. Take all of these things into consideration and, of course, apply them to your relationships because applied knowledge is better than just having the knowledge and doing nothing with it, right? Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give me thumbs up, share it with anybody who needs to hear this message, and, of course, subscribe to the channel if this is your very first time here and you'd like to hear more answers to questions like this. Now, let me just say, if you are looking for an answer to your specific question, Make sure that you DM me or any of the social media sites, or if it's a long story that you want to explain and a question, send it to my Gmail account. All of that information is in my description box down below. Make sure that you connect with me outside of YouTube. Let's continue the conversation down in the comment section below. And I also forgot to mention that I am starting a playlist for all of these questions that I am answering for the month of December 2017. So if you want to check out the playlist, go ahead and check it out. I am adding all of the videos to it each and every day that I upload it. There will be a new video there. So if you do uh, miss a day, then you don't have to miss the video. Just check out the playlist or even save the playlist so that way at the end of December you can just go ahead and binge watch I Love Me 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 with all of the questions. I will see you guys in a future video.